Here we are at the first video for PAX Australia 2018. This is absolutely off the chain, just like last year. And we're at the Cooler Master booth, and I am sitting in, I don't even know what to call this thing, the Cooler Master Hermit Pod. It is just taking gaming to the next level. If you want something that's comfortable, but you want sort of that relaxed watching a movie feel while you're playing games, this thing is definitely going to give it to you. It's like the gamer lounge. You've even got a cup holder on this thing. You can swivel the arm in and out. Luxury at its best. Now this is a prototype product. Cooler Master are definitely looking at bringing something like this to the market in 2019. They're actually trialing the product out here at PAX to see and gauge whether it's going to be uh, received well from the audience. And at least they've got a plus one vote from me and also a plus one vote from Yusuf who's behind the camera. This thing is really cool. But also what else do they have on display here at the booth? Let's take a little shin dig and look at these cool products. This is how we roll, baby. So here we are now, Cooler Master are releasing some of these new keyboards. They're coming to market in quarter one, 2019. Now pricing in AUD, really good thing with Cooler Master products, at least down in Australia, is they're pretty much priced equivalent to the US pricing. So it means you're not getting ripped off in that translation like we see a lot of companies doing when they release products down under here in Oz. So we've got here 10 keyless, low profile Cherry MX switches there, essentially the red versions, but cut down a little bit. So you got that linear switch, you got the low input lag, and now we've got the low profile Cherry MX red switches, so it will reduce the travel time as compared to uh, standard Cherry MX switches, just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't make a whole difference. If you guys have seen Rocket Jump Ninja's videos where he's tested low profile versus normal switches, it does make a couple of milliseconds difference. I mean, if that's something that you need, and you're at the top of your game, maybe. Again, marathon argument, thongs versus shoes. Marathon runners still got to be good. But essentially, they're implementing that in this keyboard with a great aesthetic, RGB design, metal backplate, as well as USB-C connectivity. So you can just plug it in, plug it out with these, travel around with this keyboard. It's also pretty lightweight as well. And it's coming in with a price tag with a 10 keyless, 169 AUD or 199 AUD for the numpad included. So they do tell me the keycaps will be changed, uh, slight curvature when they're released in uh, 2019. So stay tuned for that. They do have some feedback saying that there are a few missed keys. So the curved keys will be fixing that. But if we move over to the left of me here, we have RGB soft mouse pads. And the funny thing is they're actually coming in with a decent price, 39 AUD for the full extended size that'll fit all across your desk. The material feels really good. Your mouse isn't gonna skip at all. And of course, you got a bit of RGB bling because previously, all we saw was RGB on hard mouse pads. And a lot of people didn't like the hard surface, me included. I do prefer a soft surface mouse pad over a hard one. So they do have different sizes. It does look very clean. It is coming in with a good cost, but also let's take a look what they got for cases. So beside me now here, we've got the SL600M from Cooler Master. We took a look at this at Computex, but it is now officially coming to market later this year. They're looking to release it before the end of this year. 299 AUD, uh, coming in a little bit cheaper if you're in the US. Now the front panel, touch sensor. So if you're in the nighttime and you like to keep things dark, these will light up the closer you get to them. Also, they've got two 200 mil fans from the bottom pushing air all the way to the top. So it is a different design in itself. On the top here, you've got aluminium. It's actually stamped, so it has a very soft pressed feel to it. Really good in terms of quality. The build quality all around feels great. Then you've got the front of the panel that's just completely enclosed to help with that airflow coming in a different kind of direction. So now going inside the case, you've got the ability if you want to vertically mount a GPU sideways, but with radiator support as well, up to 360 mil rad on the top or the bottom if you wish to remove those fans included, as well as 280 mil rads. And on top of that, you've got the ability to mount extra large power supplies. There's the extended ones that go longer than others, so 1500 watt for example, with the included bracket, and it actually goes in an unconventional type of way at the front of the case instead of what you're used to with the top or the bottom at the rear of the case. So this case will be coming in around the middle of December. Now another cool thing at PAX here, if you guys are at the booth and you're in the event, then you can get some seriously good discounts on some of the peripherals here. So stay tuned, we'll take a little shot for you if you want to check it out. But let's move over now to a conclusion. 
And here we are, pretty much coming out of the Cooler Master booth. I'm behind two custom modded PCs, one being the Counter Terrace, one being the Terrace for CSGO. These were actually shown off earlier in the year. And since then, they've had a bit of an upgrade with the Aorus RTX 2000 series cards. They definitely look a little bit nicer, in my opinion, than the previous series Aorus cards. But on top of that, you've got that blue and orange aesthetic on both sides. Really cool booth to check out. Definitely looks like Cooler Master have been listening to your feedback, my feedback, and everyone's feedback, and bringing out some really cool products that are actually not only aesthetically cool, but also have some functionality. So if you like that, then be sure to hit that like button for us and let Cool and Ask to know that you're digging the products. Of course, if you don't like the products as well, drop a comment in the comment section below. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Walk in the spot and I drop one track. Know who the best, know who the best is. Walk in the rave, like check this. Got one more for the set list.